Hi everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to TaylorMade Cards for You. So today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be creating an eight by eight wall hanging using some of my product that I get for being on the design team over at Canvas Court Brand. I'm gonna be taking some of this paper that you see and I'm gonna be fussy cutting some of the flowers and I'm gonna be using it to create a collage. I'm also gonna be using this chicken wire which is part of the Architectures uh, product line. And I'm gonna be using it to create some texture on my background um, and hopefully give you some ideas for some future projects that you might be creating. So to begin, I started out with an eight by eight piece of Heidi Swap resist paper. And the resist paper is really cool to work with. Um, if you've never worked with resist paper, essentially once you add your medium on it, you can wipe some of it away and you'll have a pattern on the background. And this will work not only with inks, but with acrylic paint as well. So the paint that I'm working with today is from Liquitex and it's an acrylic paint. Um, and the color of the paint is yellow oxide. I really love the color of this paint um, because it makes a great vintage background. And because I'm gonna be creating a spring floral background, um, and I'm gonna be adding some bees, I thought it kind of reminded me of bee colors. So that's kind of why I chose to use this. Also, it's something I have in my stash, so it just worked perfectly. All right, so I'm using my um, brush to adhere my paint, and this isn't an ordinary brush. This is one of those brushes that has the rubber at the end, um, so your bristles don't get all dried out, and it uh, moves your paint really nicely. I really like this brush and I'm actually gonna get a, a smaller one as well to add to my collection. So once I've got my paper completely covered with my paint, I'm gonna come back in with um, either a baby wipe or with a paper towel. You could probably use either. If you use a baby wipe, it might move some of that paint if it's not completely dry, um, but if, it's, if your paint does dry on you, a baby wipe will work well. Um, otherwise, you can easily use a uh, paper towel to remove some of that extra paint on the area that has the resist. So if you were to use ink on this rather than the acrylic paint, um, you could easily wipe off some of that ink to show your design. But because I did use the acrylic paint um, and it did dry on me, I did have to come in and scrub a little bit uh, with a wet paint. Uh, but baby wipe to get some of that paint off, but it worked just fine. So once I had my design, I decided to add some darker um, shadows on the outline, and that's why I brought in some of my darker tones for my distress inks. Now the colors that I'm using are walnut stain, and I think I'm also using the uh, ground espresso. I really just wanted to bring in some darker shades for my outlines, and then uh, once I added my um, outlines, I did add a little bit of the ink um, on the surface as well. Now I'm using a blending brush um, to add my ink and then I believe I came in and I just took my ink along the edges just to create a little bit of a darker shadow.
So the chicken wire is um, somewhat sticky on the back side, but I really wanted to make sure that it adhered to my panel. So I did add some distressed collage medium, um, which is what I'm going to also be using to adhere my flowers. Um, this does work as an adhesive and once dry, it will be really strong. So as I indicated, I did take my flowers and I fussy cut them. And I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the, uh, about adhering the flowers. When I use the collage medium, it does work as a sealant. So you have to be really careful um, when you are adding your images. Now, if you uh, color your images before you actually put them onto your panel, then you won't have this problem. But as you're gonna see, I did add my images um, prior to them being colored because I wanted to blend it into the background. And you need to make sure that you don't add this collage medium over your images before they're colored because it is a sealant and if you do add the collage medium over your images then you won't be able to color them. So that's just something you want to be aware of. At the end of the video I will have a link uh, listing all of the products that I've used for the project. So if you're interested in checking out any of the products I'll have those below. Um, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music while I fussy cut these flowers and finish up the collage, and then I'll be back at the end of the video.
So after I had finished coloring all of the flowers, I did um, seal the flowers using that collage medium. Um, as I indicated, you don't want to do that before you color the flowers. You want to do it afterwards. And then not only will it help to seal the color, but it will also help to uh, reinforce the adhesive. And then I added the three Bs um, using some foam tape. And then I added a little bit of the... Uh, What's that shiny stuff called that uh, glossy accents to just give the bees a little bit of shine and then finally I came in with a big butterfly from the Tim Holtz ephemera pack and then one of those word chips so I hope that you've enjoyed my process for creating this collage um, it's a little bit different than what I typically show but since I've been doing those art journals it's really um, has inspired me to think outside of the box just a little bit more and take my art to the next level. Um, one of the things that I am gonna be doing is I'm gonna be offering up these eight by eight panels in my Etsy shop. Um, and this is the second one that I did. I also did a coffee one, but I didn't actually tape that. Um, but I do have it in my Etsy shop if you wanna check it out. And I'll leave a link to my shop below. I'm hoping to expand my Etsy shop and not only uh, offer up some of the greeting cards that I create, but also some of these art panels. And then hopefully, once I get more comfortable with creating some of these art panels, I'm going to transition them into cards. So I'll show you how to create some of these uh, beautiful colors and creations into greeting cards. So if you've enjoyed my process video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button before you head out. I would love for you to share my video. Um, I am trying to get to 2000 subscribers. And when I do hit the 2000 mark, I am going to be doing a giveaway, so I would love for you to help me uh, to meet that milestone. All right, everybody, thanks so much for stopping by today. And um, again, I'll leave the links below for you to check out my shop as well as some of my social media. All right, everybody, we'll see you again next time. <music>